Hello guys, it's uh, Tom here from TrainSim TV. Uh, today we're going to be looking at Railroad Tools once again um, in tutorial form. Um, today we're going to be looking at how you will go around swapping stock in scenarios. Um, for example, if you've not got a piece of DLC and you want to swap it something that's a substitute or something, um, what you have got to sort of fit in, um, we'll look at that now. So. Um, you need to make sure obviously you've got your railroad tools open um, always make sure you've got the most up-to-date version uh, I will put a link at the bottom in the description for anyone that hasn't got that or needs that um, so to do swapping of stock you need to head to the top tabs and click scenarios and go down to edit scenarios and then you need you want to go to whichever route obviously you want to find so for today's tutorial we're going to go to the west coast mainland Trent Valley and then um, find whichever scenario you want so today I'm going to go um, I'm going to swap some stock out of a DPS scenario so we're going to go for the uh, Portbury Colt Terminal to Rugeley Power Station so you click it then click edit selected scenario and when it loads that up it will open a new window Sometimes takes a moment, depending on how big the uh, how much stock you've got on the scenario. So, as you can see, um, we've got a list of consists which are included in this scenario. So, the top one is the player train. So, once you click that, you can see the uh, consist of how it appears. And we've got a class 66 freight line on this. Now, I want to use the AP class freight, uh, class 66 freight liner. So, now you need to bring up the stock into the available stock list. Now to do this, um, obviously Classic 6 is a diesel, so you would click the diesel on this little uh, selection here, so depending on what you're going to choose you just click which one the, uh, suits, and then you need to go to the scroll list. Now Class 66 um, is down as RSC, it's always handy to know where your replacement stock is going to come from, it'll help you out incredibly trying to find it and find it in the list. So, we need to find RSC, there it is, so we click that, then you need to go down to the pack um, you want to use, so it's class 66, and it comes under pack number 2 for the Freightliner, so we'll click, and then you can either go from here, or once again you can click rail vehicles, and these will just single out everything else, so, now you've selected your pack, and you click the little diesel uh, tick bullet point go to click find available rolling stock and as you can see it's loading everything in that folder to do with the class 66 pack 2 so it'll take, depending on how many you've got in there it'll take a moment to load them all in so it's finished now now I want to use an AP Freightliner so to do the swap you need to click the uh, existing 66 which is already in the scenario It'll bring another box, just leave that there and then you need to go to your available stock list and find one that's uh, suitable for yourself so I'm going to go to class 66 freight L2 AP now you can see there's all different ones here when you click them so if I just go to the number 2 now for the swap you need to click swap selected items I'll do that, and as you can see, your consist for all the stock information will be updated once you save your changes. So just click OK, um, and as you can see, it has swapped now to uh, Classic Six Freightliner L2 AP. Now, this is a bit deceiving. If you come off that consist and click another one, and then go back, it appears like it's it swapped itself back. Don't worry, it won't have. So if we just click Save Changes now. Um, your scenario has, has been changed basically there and then if we just go back to open that scenario once again let it load back in and go to the consist we just swapped you can see it is actually changed so you can continue, you can do it all in one hit and then save, if you want to do it one at a time and save that's totally up to you but you don't need to do one at a time and save, you can uh, just go for the full lot and then save at the end because it will change everything So. 
I'm going to leave the class 350 as it is because it'll use the uh, the root 350. Um, got class 325, that is fine. The default ones that I use anyway. Now then, we've got a class 221 here. Now at the moment it's using the just trains 221, but if you wanted, you can um, use the Dovetail Games one. Now to find that, you'd have to go to Assets, and it's down, I think, it's div, uh, Dovetail Games. Let's just have a look. And it came with uh, Bristol Cardiff, if I remember correctly. So, <coughs> we need to go to Rail Vehicles, Diesel, and oh no, it's not in there. <laughs> uh, Bristol to Swansea, possibly bit of a fail here guys. Just trying to remember where it comes from. Oh no, it's there actually, it's on its own. Right, so once again, rail vehicles, diesel, Voyager. Click DMU for this one. It should show up. There we go. Now this one's bringing me a, a west coast. Now we need to find the, the cross country one. If I can find it. And it's not gone to plan. Not not to worry though. Possibly could be Cardiff Swansea, no it's not. Right. We'll skip that one. We'll go to another set because there's no cross countries in here. It's uh, west coast. We've got the 390 there, that's um, using the old one, which I won't swap to the new one. Um, once again, right, so we could do another class 66 here. So it's a GB rail for it this time, so if we go to the RSC, class 66 pack 02, click that. Then if you go to rail vehicles once again, and diesel and 66. Click the diesel tick and then click find available rolling stock. It'll bring them back up once again. So, this one is um, GB rail freight. So, we've got a number of different GB rail freights here. We'll go for the 2018 look. Been a slash seven. So we've picked class 66 GBRF 2018 L2 AP. When, you, when we look at L's, um, L2, L1, these are just different types of lighting. So we've got L1s, 2s, all the way up to 5, I think we have in uh, various AP packs. So we've picked, we've got it all selected, select selected items, and once again it swaps it over. Um, if you want it to, you can go through all your freight wagons. So all you would have to do is make sure you can find a pack that has the correct containers you want, and on the little tick box, you just click freight, and it will bring all the existing freight stock to swap with. Once again, that's a 390. We don't need to swap that one. So we've got another 66 here. We'll just put uh, an AP freight liner in here. We'll go with another number two lighting. So we'll just swap selected items. And another one here. We'll, uh, we'll pop a power hall in this one. So we'll just select. Once again, another 390. And we've just got some loose stock in here. We've got an, uh, a 66. We'll pop another one of them in there. So we'll just swap. And we've got some. IOAs. Now these um, were standings for in the meantime where there was no correct network rail uh, ballast wagons. Since then AP have come along and uh, created one of these. So what we'll do, we'll swap these out so we can show you how to do the uh, wagons. So it's a JNA, if I remember correctly, rail vehicles, freight, JNA, network rail. So we click freight on the little tick and it will load them in for us like so. So these are all empty. So we need to just choose an empty so we've got weathered or clean. Uh, for this consist we'll um, 
we'll stick them all as weathered with an empty so you can either do one by one like so or if you want to cheat click one and you can click swap all identical now if you click that there we go it's done it only one it for you now you need to be careful when you're clicking these because if you click one by accident chances are you'll have to close and start again if you've uh, done a lot of work and you haven't saved along the way it can cost you a bit of time so just be careful because the the icons are uh, well the buttons are quite close to each other so we have got a whole load of changes done now so if we click save just to double check and load it back in everything we have made should be still there on the changes side of things so once again it'll take a moment to load it back in and there we go AP, JNA are all in there uh, we've got our Freightliner AP66's and same again all the way down so that's that's done um, one thing to note when you come to do change with certain AP products um, you might have a missing texture um, to get around this all you would have to do is open up the scenario manually within the game and then you would just edit the logo and make sure the numbers are, are set up correctly in the, um, in the little channel of numbers you need to put in with the, with the uh, logo number and then that, that gets rid of the missing textures around the numbers so we'll just click save and make sure that's done hopefully that's been very informative for you um, if you have any more questions regarding this um, please do put your comments below um, please give us a subscribe on uh, YouTube um, click the little notification bell as well so you get updates whenever I do any new videos and please do visit our Twitch channel uh, it's twitch.tv uh, twitch.tv sorry uh, forward slash Tom has two and I do regular streaming with Train Simulator and other various Train Simulation platform games Thank you very much guys and thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.